The last time I went up to the Goodwill outlet, the shoe teams were there in full effect and they were trying to grab anything and everything that they could get their hands on. I have to tell you, I don't know that I have the energy to fight through that this time, but that is where we are headed. So I'm taking you up to the outlet. I'm gonna try to stay diverse this time and maybe source in some areas I don't normally source in or I've been avoiding for any, a length of time now. And maybe my luck will change. It's been a little bit of a struggle going into this location recently, but hopefully my luck changes and I'm taking the fun bunch with me. Let's go to the outlet. Probably a good day to stay indoors. It looks like it's gonna rain today here in Columbus, Ohio, but let's head into the bins. I'm actually gonna do a little bit more hard goods footage. I feel like clothing has been really more missed than hit lately, although I am gonna start in the hat section. This is the picked over stuff from last night, but I am going to take this and you'll see it in just a second. This Ikea bucket hat, this is basically free, right? Because of how light it's going to be. I mean, it's not, If I'm, I'm going to be lucky if I get $10 for it. That's what I'm gonna price it at and I'm gonna charge shipping, so we'll see what happens. I don't necessarily think it needs to be cleaned up. It looks like it's in pretty good condition, still has the tags on the inside, so $10, $10 at a maximum, but that thing weighs next to nothing here. So at least, starting off, in the hats, in the bags, in the belt section, luggage luggage section, I have something to go on, but I'm gonna look at some hard goods a little bit closer here in the beginning, because I haven't done that recently. And like I said before, in this location, it's been a lot more bad days or less successful days than it has been good days. So I'm hoping to change that narrative here coming in uh, just a random uh, random day like today. So that look that bag looked like ostrich although it didn't feel it felt like fake But I am by no means an expert on that stuff. So Michigan State pumpkin here. My neighbors are uh, Spartan fans shout out to anybody that went to Michigan State currently going there alum Shout out to you guys. I'm gonna drop that off at my neighbor's uh, Porch that is not a bolo. That's just something that we're gonna grab for them all when you ever see whenever you see um M mouses mice look for the little usb adapter i'm going to try to pull it out here but we're doing we're trying to do two things at once and brendan really struggles with that so i couldn't get that thing out and we're just going to have to move on to the next thing not necessarily uh, in an indication that that is worth any money but because i feel like logitech it, those items have kind of flooded the market but definitely look for the usb adapter it's usually attached to the inside of the piece there and we'll move on so Waffle makers, like vintage ones, especially from this brand here, crepe makers. These are great pickups, right? This is Vitantonio, and this is called the Five of Hearts pattern. Plugged it in, it works great. And because of how just how clean it is, I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna list it for $45. I did see one of these sell recently for 45, and I think Mine is in a little bit better condition. So those are great pickups. Look for those vintage waffle makers. You can get good money on a lot of them. That's a great brand. That company is from Ohio. So maybe we see a little bit more of their items than you would in other parts of the country. But I will take that, $45. It's been a long time since I found anything or I've even really just spent the time to look at the hard goods here in our locations. So to find one that is in great working condition that I believe I can sell for $45, we're really doing well. I can't remember the last time I spent $50 at the bins. So finding that, that's gonna pay for the trip and then some once it sells and we'll just keep looking to see what else we have here. What was that fit girl, flirty, flirty girl fitness? Maybe I should have looked that up, I didn't really check. Um, if you see this guy here and you have the ability to test him, give it a shot. This is the Jemmy Caddyshack Gopher. The cool thing about this little guy here and it, like I'm trying to test him right right now he's been an item that you want to keep your eye out for for at least three years now so I've sold maybe two or three of these in my reselling career and it, let's assume this works but the at current active listings to sold in the last 90 days ratio if you will is really heavily skewed to the sales. So it's still a very much in demand bolo item. And if it works, I think I'm gonna sell it for $35. I'll put it, it right in that range. I think the majority of them sell quickly at that price. And I've seen them sell as high as 50 pre-owned. I didn't check to see what they sell brand new. 
but the point is when you see it, if you have an opportunity to test it and you don't necessarily need the AC adapter if it even requires one because you can put four AA batteries in them. So you can test them with four AA's and you will be good to go. So let's move over to close here. This is the Spartan logo of Nick Merckx. Now, if you're not familiar with gaming, Twitch, Call of Duty, he's a Call of Duty, he's a video game content creator. Uh, somebody that I followed for a number of years, so I kn I knew this when I saw it, especially when I saw M Fam M M M F A M on the front of this hoodie. It's a 4XL. These are really hard to get because these guys do basically like limited run releases of all of their apparel, and so there's a few listed like well over a hundred. I have a 4XL. It looks like they sell in like the 40 to 50 dollar range pre-owned, but I did see a 2XL sell for 75. I have a 4XL. I'm also going to list mine at $75. He is one of the most well-known video game content creators. He got his start playing. Well, he didn't get his start. When I rec recognized him or learned about him for the first time, he was streaming Fortnite, moved over to Call of Duty, and you know, the gaming kids love him. I think he's a member of FaZe Clan, so a really popular streamer. That was an exciting find. And then this is sort of like the IT activewear brand right now, Viore. So I have a men's half zip right here. It looks like it's missing the strings. I don't think that's going to affect the value of the strings that go inside the hood. Viore right now is one of those brands that you can't get on the market fast enough, right? In fact, if you just go into your app, go into the eBay app and search Viore, no other words, there's like just over 4,000 active listings, but if you sort by solds, just using that one single keyword, there's over 11,000 solds. So you can't get this to the market fast enough, basically. I think the style on that was the Ponto hoodie. It's a men's medium, and again, I'm gonna say even missing the strings, I think I can get $60 for it. That was so exciting. And I don't know what that was, but that was just sort of sitting on the top of a picked over pile. I'm not in a, I'm not in the fresh bins right here. So I wonder what happened there. Like maybe somebody grabbed it and decided to put it back at the last second. That definitely does happen, but I will take it. That's amazing. And that was the start of an exciting run of clothing finds here this trip. So I'm glad that I made the decision to get over into the clothing section because it has been very, very light lately. But yes, that was the catalyst to like a lot of other great finds that you're going to see here coming up here. Civil Regime, this is a pretty shirt. I maybe should have looked it up. I didn't. I just passed it up and moved on. If it's worth money, I missed it. And I definitely do miss things from time to time. So it is what it is. This was a cool pickup. I don't pick up every single in and out burger shirt that I find. I do pick them up though. And the nice thing about this one is I think it's vintage. So it does have a little bit of wear. And in my experience selling vintage shirts, a lot of there's a there's a big enough customer base where the wear or the um, discoloration, especially on a white shirt, does not matter. So I'm gonna grab that shirt, I forget what size it was, but it was a vintage Hanes beefy tee. It was not single stitch, it was double stitch, but I think it is over 20 years old and they'll sell pretty regularly in the $20 range. So I'm gonna roll with that. Next thing here, the hat rotation came out. I got to it a little bit late. So I didn't really find that much, but if you see Black Rifle Coffee anything, look it up. It's definitely a bolo, especially their hats. So this one, even with a little bit of wear, I'm still pretty convinced I can get 15, in between 15 and $25. I have to do a little bit more of my deep dive research, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna land there. Next item that I found was this Lululemon. This is called the Forward Flow. It's a poncho. I actually thought it would do a little bit better price-wise than it does in the resale market. It will definitely sell. And I like it's like a big blanket. Like it's a big square, you know, very drapey when you put it over yourself. Women are gonna know what I'm talking about. Men, maybe not so much. So it was brand new to me. I've never seen this before. I didn't know that Lululemon made a piece like this. So very clean, in good condition, a nice color, like cream color. And I'm, I'm still pretty confident that I'm gonna get $30 for it. So again, we're at the bins, like that's still a fantastic find. We might be out of season for that, but the listings again to sold ratio look pretty good actually. And then I'm also gonna grab these Levi's 514. They are 
a slim straight and they have flat pockets on the back. It's a men's 3430, although I'll double check the inseam because sometimes when you're washing cotton, it will shrink. So that may have changed, but tag says 3430. I'm gonna grab those. That's you know in between 20 and $25, more likely in the $20 range for those. But they were in really nice condition. I think the style is popular enough and I saw enough solds to convince me to pull the trigger on those, so I'm gonna grab those for sure. But yeah, I thought the Lululemon poncho would be a little bit more, so um, still great at $30. I passed on the Absolute shirt here, not single stitch. It do does look like it might have been vintage, but, and I didn't really look that one up. I made the assumption that there was no value there. Don't do that if you're new. Look everything up in the beginning if you're if you're trying to, you know, really learn what's going on here but i passed that up i'm gonna grab this though very very light aubryon i think this is a uk brand i don't see i couldn't see any pre-owned solds or active listings but it's just a sleeveless polo they market this to the equestrian crowd i believe i'm gonna list it for 25 dollars. i see a lot of them selling in a in a range sort of in the middle there the 25 would be like the middle middle-ish range like middle high Pretty blue color, but it'll be the only pre-owned one on the US market. So 25 bucks, I'm really guessing here. I wanna just sort of test it out. Very clean on the underarms. It was in really nice condition and um, super light. Again, so not gonna really cost me that much, but we're gonna take a shot at it. We'll see how that goes. Again, another one, if you're newer, eh, maybe pump the brakes on that because I don't know. Uh, I'm not 100% convinced, but I'm here to learn as well too. So we're picking it up. Shoe rotation came out. It's really about being in the right place at the right time. I was definitely in the wrong place at the wrong time, so I didn't really mess with it. I did grab a pair of Crocs. I didn't even look them up. They didn't make it into the video, so I won't put them in. The total's at the end, but I got a, one single pair of Crocs that I like. Again, super light, but just digging through. Oh, actually, I picked up a pair of Ferragamos when I walked in, but that was not from the new rotation, and Ferragamo really kind of hit or miss, but these ones were clean enough, and they had a cool heel. So I did get two pairs of shoes, but I didn't get them on camera, so they don't technically count for the video. And we'll keep on keeping on with some clothing here. North Face, I don't pick, I probably pass up 75% of it. I do like the Osito, I think this is Osito is the style. Their vests, nice and fluffy and puffy. And this was a cool coral salmon color. I think that was a women's small. I'm pretty sure I can get $30 for that. And oh, by the way, guys, I found Patagonia. Um, what is this now, like 10 or 11 videos where I have found a Patagonia item? Anyway, this is a Los Gatos reversible Sherpa. I forget what size it was. I don't think I could see it in the pocket there when I took a look at it, but I'm gonna probably have to wait until the months, until we get maybe into fall season to get 50. I'm gonna price it at $50. I see them selling in like the $40 range right now. And maybe that's just people wanting to move their items because it's summer. So if I hold out long enough and I know it's always just a matter of time before any of the Patagonia that I source sell. So I think I'm gonna put that at $50. I don't think it needs to be touched up or cleaned extensively. It was in really good condition. So we're gonna grab the North Face. I'm gonna take the Patagonia, but the last item that I found, something new to me, I wanna show you and share with you as well, is this Mackage jacket. So the, like I went to their website, these jackets regularly start out $1,000, $1,100. Now this is supposed to be a hooded uh, pu puffer parka, if you will. It's missing the hood, but it is in really nice condition. It's very well manufactured. I don't recall what size it was, but it is really clean. I'm gonna show you what the tag looks like if you're not familiar with this brand. I think the correct price and the listings to solds like ratio is not that great for this brand, which is surprising because it's pretty expensive. And so I would expect a little bit more solds to go on, but I think the correct price for that one is 50, or excuse me, $150. Even missing the hood, I've seen him selling pre-owned in the three to four hundred dollar range. Some of them, so I think I'm kind of close, and I think 150 would be fair. But this was a big time hit, definitely not a miss. I'm super excited. We got a big ticket, bread and butter, a lot in between. Great haul. That was 12 pounds. That all cost me 24 dollars. My total listed value for everything you saw in the video today comes to 505 dollars. We have Christmas in July coming up soon. The tree is up. We're gonna put lights on it here. 
subscriber only benefit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. That starts July 1st. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you in the next video.